Thank you very much. Um, I, my, my kids were getting a, a big kick out of those pictures. Um, I want to thank you for um, the privilege of being added to the Hall of Fame. I especially want to thank the, the uh, committee, the Hall of Fame committee, the alumni, the work behind the scenes for this. I'd also like to thank Mrs. Gunther. I don't know if she's still in the auditorium, but she was a godsend in helping keep us connected through this process and making sure everything this evening would run perfectly and we get all of the information to the school that was needed to be there. But the one person I want to thank more than anyone else is uh, another Hall of Famer who was already introduced tonight, Clay Sigler. Uh, Clay and I have known each other for years, uh, but he saw in my resume and my background things that made me worthy of being nominated for this. And I will always be truly thankful and very honored that he did so. Um, my sister and I both went to Ritter. We went at different decades, but whenever we talk about our experiences, we have a lot of shared um, references. And one of them is the sense of community that we had in coming to school here. The other is the sense of awe that we have with the people who have founded the, the school, the school district, and the people who continue to progress it forward, because it does, even especially during our time, continue to improve and continue to progress. Um, at Channel 4 in St. Louis, I worked with a man by the name of Dan Dillon, and Dan was a great TV producer, but he was also a writer, he's also an author. And I don't know if you've read his book, but you will probably know the title. It is, So, Where Did You Go to High School? <laughs> Any St. Louisan or anybody who's ever met a St. Louisan anywhere has heard or asked that question. And when I left Ridner in uh, the early 80s to go to Mizzou, of course that was the question on my mind when I met people and found out that they were first from St. Louis. Now, I was a little naive because being a band kid, an orchestra kid, being an athlete, when I asked that question, it was not to find out the academics of their, their background and when they went to school. It wasn't to find out any economic background or, or any, um, even their neighborhood. It was always to find out hey, did we play you in football and didn't we beat you? Or didn't we beat you in basketball? Do you happen to know the girl that I played tennis against who went to your school? It was always along those lines. And when people would come back to me and say, Render, I, I, I'm not familiar with Render, or maybe they would give me a quizzical look, I would say, well, you don't know my school? My school's the one with the radio station. And that's where I got my broadcast experience, and now I'm here at Mizzou getting ready to apply to a world-renowned school of journalism. My school's the one that's had an indoor pool forever so that our students can practice there for swimming and diving. We put together an ice hockey team. We have sports for women for any season that they want to play. My school is a place where all of our musicians and our singers are performing across the nation in competitions and in concerts. I guess, in addition to recognizing the necessity and the power of community that I got from Ritner, it also reinforced in me the importance of education in providing possibilities. And then, that hard work can turn those possibilities into probabilities. And if you can then use the strength of your voice, those probabilities can turn into reality. I think the greatest thing that I can say in receiving this award and being honored is that the next time somebody asks me where I went to high school, I can say I was one of the lucky ones that went to Ritter. Thank you very much.